one last Chaos Emerald to collect, so let's get started! We're gonna pay Knuckles, and there we go for one last time! Oh man, I ran into the first mine! Well, that definitely sucked, at least I lost only one ring. Okay, gotta take a break here, there we go. Gotta watch out for those slopes. If you run, if you jump a millisecond too early, you're going to run straight into those mines, and if you jump too late, you're not gonna have the desired altitude. And once again, oh, oh my god, those were close calls, really close. Yeah, if you jump a bit too late, you won't have the desired altitude by the time you reach the mines, and BAM! Okay, I'm close now, 150, gotta make sure not to hit any mines, yes! 7th Chaos Emerald, acquired! Sonic got all the Chaos Emerald. This is a message I really love seeing in Sonic games. It's like, yeah, you totally own those, those special stages. Not that those were particularly difficult, but in, the, in other games they are more so, such as, well, I've already showed you Sonic Chaos, those aren't particularly easy. So now you may be wondering what happens when I pay Tails or Knuckles to go into special stages. Well, I still go into special stages, except the, the reward is an extra life instead of a Chaos Emerald. Now, I don't remember at all, well, I know the life counter doesn't go past 9, but I wonder if they still count. But because in other games, the limit, uh, the, uh, the counter can go to is 9, but they still keep counting after that. So if you die, you stay at 9 lives for a while. But I don't remember if that's the case for this game. Okay. Oh, you know what? Screw the platform. I can go straight over with that spring. Anything there? No. Ooh, gotta be careful. Thank goodness I held down those buttons, else I might have fallen down. And I don't, I don't remember where it led, so... Well, better safe than sorry. No, I'm not going back in front of, of the flamethrower to hunt that crocodile. You come to me. So, I remember there was a medal here. There we go. And you, you may be wondering why I'm still so conservative, even after getting all the emeralds. Well, it's... Well, it's basically just a matter of not looking completely silly. After all, right now I am recording that run for the world to see, and if I look like an ass, you people will remember it for a long, long time, I'm sure of it. So, okay, I remember this part now. No, I'm not going to take that, uh, that, that speed boost here. Sonic already goes way too fast for the needs of this game as it is, so... Only, only pick this item up if you have a death wish in this game. So, as I remember, I gotta... Can I do it? No! Oh, that was close. I almost ate spike ball for dinner there. So, I gotta get... Oh, man! The, the flamethrower just killed that flicky. Well, not kill, but whenever your, your flickies get hit by a flamethrower or a hazard like that, they start running in every direction. But the flickies don't... Oh, come on! I, why did I hit that flamethrower again? Okay, have I got all the flickies? Nope, there we go, that was the last one. So, yeah, the flickies don't run in the same way. The, the blue ones just wander around aimlessly. The red ones are annoying, they bounce all over the place. You get the idea. So, wait a minute, wasn't I forced to go uh, through the, you know, the, pla the falling platforms? Um... No, I guess not. Um, I'm drawing a blank here. No, okay, I'm on the other side. So, those platforms were just there for you to avoid the flamethrowers. Well, that's an interesting design decision they made, but I, I'm sure I had uh, I have to uh, jump through those falling platforms at some point. Maybe it's a bit later on, I don't remember. What I do remember, however, is me spending a lot of time trying to get those jumps right at the falling platforms. Because, well, I've already mentioned it several times and we're just four videos in, but the, the camera angle and the, and the difficult controls make for some of the worst handling you'll see in a platformer. Maybe not the worst, but it's up there. And add to that the fact that Sonic always tends to go way too fast, like I did just now. Oh man, I hate those flamethrowers so much. Okay, I think I've got them all. So here's the last one. And okay. 
Okay, now I imagine I gotta backtrack. Is there any spinner there? Nope. Gotta backtrack to the nearest spinners. Gotta be careful. I can't go around the outside because of the flamethrower, so I'm gonna have to risk it and go on the inside. Okay. Now, okay. Here we go. So, now I just gotta bust through. Oh yeah, now I remember! Oh, whew, that was close. I thought my flickies were gonna, were gonna quit again. Okay. See, second, third, here we go! Well, that was a lot easier than on my previous playthroughs. I'm glad I got so lucky with those jumps on the run. I'm actually recording. Now it's time for boss battle number two. And the pattern isn't a very hard one, but it's a lot more complicated than, than it sounds when you factor in the horrendous camera. So what I gotta do here is I gotta go on that hand there, which acts as a platform. Come on! Oh, man! See what I meant about Sonic going too fast? Okay. Oh! What? What the hell? What hit me? It certainly wa wasn't one of those bullets. Okay, here we go. No! Why did I fall off? Oh, come on! Not again! Twice on the same run? Oh, I am so looking stupid right now. There we go. Finally a hit. So you get the idea of the pattern. But as I said, the camera angle can make it tough, so let's see if I can hit it. Well, sometimes when I'm on that hand, I'm going to go, well, to... I'm gonna end up somehow behind Eggman, or so the game thinks, and instead of Eggman getting it, ah, it's me that gets hit. So it's really silly, that camera angle. It works for Diablo, it works for StarCraft, but it doesn't work for Sun. Yeah. Oh, not again, and now there are no rings left, so I have to... Oh, man, not again? What What the hell am I running into? Can someone explain that to me? Okay, gotta, gotta be careful there, okay. There we go. That boss was way harder than it had any right to be. I swear, I don't struggle nearly as much at this boss. And remember what I said about me not looking too stupid on the run that I was recording? I take it back. I take it all back. If I struggle landing on small platforms like this, how am I going to fare landing on even smaller ones in the Volcano Valley boss fight? This is going to be so difficult and you are going to get quite a laugh out of this. Okay, is there a flicky in those cannons? I don't remember. Guess not. So anyway, this is Spring Stadium Zone. This is the mandatory amusement park zone following in the footsteps of Casino Night Zone and Carnival Night Zone. And here you got uh, a major fixture of this zone. It's, you know, floors covered with spikes and the spikes come out as soon as you step on the floor. So one trick to avoid those spikes is to keep jumping. You're not forced to jump uh, using the balloons or the springs. You just have to keep jumping and the spikes won't come out high enough to hit you. You can use the same trick on electrical floors later on in the game. And here is an extra life that will make a total. Thank you very much. And I've been going for a while now and I haven't seen a single flicky. And invincibility now? Okay, well, this is good when it comes to items, where, but I want flickies. I can't progress if I don't find flickies. And as you've probably noticed, it's not all the spaces that look like they have springs that actually do have them. Uh, for, uh, as a rule of thumb, for every, uh, you know, square of four potential springs, there's only one. And I picked up that gold shield, which gives me the homing attack. Come on! Come on! Can I grab that flicky, please? It's just grabbing a flicky. It's not defeating an enemy or a boss or anything. And yet, I made it look so difficult. And there we go. I just lost my shield. So, yes, no homing attack for me then. Okay, now I gotta find my way back up. I remember where the, where the other two flickies are, but I only got a get there and you know those slopes are really a pain in the butt Sonic is running so fast that I'm just going all over the place okay a blue shield well it'll at least help compensate for the the gold one I lost okay now as you might expect you don't attack those guys while while they're all puffed up else you'll be the one taking the hit not enough clickies to nail that metal so I gotta find the last one there we go, and that's it for today. I'm going to continue this zone in the next video.